My name is Anas Jensen. Let's learn some UiPath. Today we will see how we can get a date in format day day, month month, year 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 in UiPath. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about UiPath and ABA. So let's get started. First, we will see how we can get a date time in our uh, wanted format and afterwards a string in our wanted format. So uh, let's drag in a right line. And we could start by uh, getting the date time now to work with a date time. So this one, just to see how it looks, we will have a to string. So this is how uh, a date time looks. We can see here in the output window in a bit. Go down to output and we can see that here it's uh, the month first, that's March, the 12th of March 2020 and there's the time. Per default there is a one format for the date time and that is always this. We will even can add milliseconds and stuff so you can't say that you will convert a date time to another date time. It's just a date time. However, if we want to convert it to a string we can choose the format. And if we just uh, write it out, it will uh, write out like this. This is a string to string and with the month first. However, let's say that we want to uh, switch the month and day, then we can do, do a simple operation up here. We will just do this and specify the format. So that will be day, day, and then month, month, and then four digits here. Remember to have big M's because that's month, otherwise, otherwise it will be minutes. And then we will have a parenthesis close and that's it. Let's see how that, is, that looks like. Here, go to output and we can see that we got the date in the requested format, the string here. So uh, that's easy, right? And um, we can have a lot of formats here if you go to um, search for .NET custom date and time format string, then we can see all the different formats here. We can specify if we want um, like a zero in front of the one digit uh, calendars uh, or if we, we don't want like here. So that's just a single D. And there's a lot of those milliseconds, microseconds. We can add everything to our uh, date time. However, uh, this is sufficient. And if you want more, you can just Google that page. So uh, let's create a string variable. Let's go down here and we will call this uh, str input and this will be a string that's fine and it will have the output again so first we will have the uh, output of uh, month month day day and year 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 like this right and that is uh, the month month that is uh, march the 12th of 2020 right and then we can um, have a right line and now we want to change uh, this so we want to change uh, the days and months again. And the easiest way is just to um, convert it to a date time and do the operation there. And we can do this uh, quite easy. We'll have a date time like this. And then we will choose the pass exact here. And then we will choose our input. It even help us here. And that will be the str input like this. And then we will specify the format. So that's the format, the strength the string is in and here we have the month, the day and the year. So we'll just do quotation marks and then month like this and we'll have this. We'll have a day and year. If we have a, instead of a forward slash we had a, like maybe a, a, a dot then we will do this if this was a dot down here and so forth. So just specify what the format is in, tell UiPath that or start net actually. And then here, in still in the parentheses, we'll add a comma. Then uh, we will uh, have this system, sorry, like globalization, and then culture info. You'll use that this a lot, so better learn it. And then invariant culture. That's info about the culture, like this. And then, so now uh, we'll pass it to a date time. However, we will uh, have it back to a string so we can uh, specify the format like we did up here. And just it's just the same operation as up here. So to string. And then we'll just do exactly like we did up here. So day, day, uh, month, month, year, year, year. Right? We can uh, try to run it to see that it actually worked, that we converted 
our date uh, here in the variable manager to uh, the input that we want and we can see that we actually managed to um, switch days and months. So that's it for now. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. That will help me a lot. Have a good day. Bye bye.